All right, the feel-good story of the weekend took place yesterday. We had a chance to interview him before the game, not knowing he was going to pitch. And finally, Aaron Barrett got into a game FP, and after the first walk, he managed to get things back together. Yeah, I think it's the most nervous I've been calling a Nats game when he walked on the mound. Maybe excited, nervous, whatever you want to say. Then all of a sudden, he got the pop-up out with Julio Tehran. He struck out Ronald Acuna Jr., got Ozzy Albies to fly out. And it was like, hey, it's baseball again. I'm not a rookie. I've been here. I've done this before. The, the four years of work to get back here, and it all kind of hit him at once in the dugout. Just one of the feel-good stories of the season. And sometimes there's things that are bigger than baseball. And last night, Aaron Barrett's comeback was way bigger than any pennant race. I loved it when Jan Gomes met him at the third baseline into the dugout together. The emotion that came spilling out uh, when Paul Menhart gave him the hug. And then it continued on. I think Aaron, Aaron it finally hit hit him what exactly happened yesterday and uh, way back in spring training Alex he told us it would be an incredible comeback story and he was totally right about that Bob and FP well first of all Bob your interview with Aaron Barrett was awesome yesterday and you could see just how excited he was to get back here with the big league club but the fact that the moment happened for him yesterday to take the mound those four years in the making all the hard work what an inspiration to this team it was one that they'll never forget Davey Martinez said it was so special he it's one that will stick with him for the rest of his life but Aaron Barrett it was such an incredible night obviously uh, emotional um, but you just gotta try to find a way to kind of hone it in and realize that it's, you know it's just a game and you gotta go out there and make pitches and I think after uh, after that first guy kind of got the jitters out a little bit and um, and you know it's time to go to work and, and get guys out. You dream about the moment, you picture the moment, you try to visualize what it's gonna be like and you know whatever moment or whatever happens it's unlike anything that you you vision um and so after the outing was over and just walking off and i'm just you know all the emotions just hit me just you know you, you did it man you did it and uh it was just a cool moment to share with my teammates and obviously the amount of support that i've had uh, from this organization um and all these guys in this clubhouse just a moment i'll never forget and, and that's where the wave of emotions hit me and um it's just a special feeling. Barrett is from just about six minutes away here from SunTrust Park. All of his family, they were in attendance last night. He had friends here. Actually, my husband was in the stands with some of our friends. They were sitting right behind the Barrett family, and they said there was nothing like it. Watching him when he took the mound, how his whole family, there were tears in everyone's eyes. Just so much excitement, so much energy. Watching his kids' reactions, just wow. What a night, what a bright spot in last night's game and something that was really inspiring to this Nationals ball club.